The terms we have heard nonstop from the right are groomer and pedo. Many times over, these are used as a form of projection. For that, we introduce right winger Elliot Atwell, a prominent bodybuilding coach located in the Charlottesville, Virginia area. Atwell, a man who has a social media history attacking Parkland survivors and posing with firearms, is in a scandal that many in his sphere would associate with drag queens, though they are not present in this story. Here is one of those posts mocking David Hogg, writing, When you're so white, you turn a commie salute into a Nazi salute. He calls Hogg a promising young fascist. Hogg survived a mass shooting and advocates for common sense gun laws. Atwell, 33, has done plenty of content online, making various videos on powerlifting. However, he faces serious charges per the findings of local media. CBS 19 would report, Atwell has been indicted on four counts of sexual exploitation of a minor, one count of enticing a minor for the purpose of engaging in sexual activity, and one count of child pornography possession. The Department of Justice wrote, according to the indictment between December 2013 and April 2020, Atwell enticed at least six minors to record themselves engaging in sexually explicit conduct and then send the recordings to him. To give context, Atwell built a reputation over the years as a, quote, godfather of the teen aesthetic per one online commenter. He trained male bodybuilders and fitness models. Sadly, this behavior from Atwell was flagged years back from clients of his. There were messages left that raised red flags and rang the alarms. However, it appears his day is coming. In the fitness world, names like David Lade, Dylan McKenna, Quinn Vital, Lex Little are popular ones. They came forward with the receipts proving Atwell's wrongdoing. To give an idea of just how popular some of them are, Lade has over 3 million followers on Instagram, Dylan McKenna over 400,000, Lex Little over 750,000. For you guys that are watching, basically the accusations are all these individuals who Elliot was trying to get sexual tapes of or watch sexual tapes of were underage, under 18. A lot of them he, were underage. He yes. would buy them sex devices. Um, he would he would buy them like yeah, like I'm like I'm 17, bro, and he's bought me like penis pumps and like like as soon as he bought me a penis pump, he's like, yo, do you have a girlfriend? Like you should send me videos of you hitting it from the back with your girth, and I'm like. He would send you content about you. He would send time. other people's videos. He would, re he would regurgitate nudes between clients. And he, so. would try, he would try to manipulate me into thinking, oh, it's fine. Right. You can send me this kind of stuff. Right, 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 right. All credit to Kenny KO on YouTube for conducting these tough interviews and exposing the allegations against Atwell. Please sub to his channel as he has done great work covering this story. What crushes many is they saw this coming because of Atwell's history. Atwell was arrested in 2020 and charged with sending a 16-year-old in New Jersey male enhancement pills, according to a statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Virginia. Atwell told the juvenile the medication he was sending would cause him to have erections that would last for hours and would allow him to have sex like a porn star. The juvenile's mother intercepted the package and turned it over to investigators. WRIC reported at the time of his arrest, Atwell, from 2013 to 2020, was found to have recorded and kept images of minors under 12 years of age engaged in these sexually explicit acts. Atwell, seen here posing with guns that served as his Facebook header photo, faces 15 years to life in prison. To reiterate, this was not a drag queen. This was not a member of Antifa. This was a right-leaning, libertarian, gun-toting man that mocks survivors of school shootings. It is always, it seems, a deflection from who these people really are when they choose to blame anyone at all times and latch on to the Republican talking points to deflect from their own vices.